this is the assembly of the uh, ASR 51mm reloadable motor system. First make sure that you have all the parts, um, your motor casing, your previously assembled liner, two o-rings, your nozzle retainer, your nozzle, your forward seal disc, your forward bulkhead and your propellant grains. Also make sure that you have grease available for greasing the threads and the o-rings. Use grease sparingly uh, as too much grease can cause interference with uh, the working of the motor. First let's grease the o-rings. Take the o-rings, small amount of grease and just work it around until you have a shine on the o-rings. Don't need to add any more than that. It's just to help the, with the assembly of the rocket motor. Put those aside. Take a little bit more grease and thread, grease the threads. So let me edit. And grease the threads. Also grease the threaded parts, starting with the bulkhead. And the nozzle retainer. On the nozzle retainer I also grease the inside surfaces as this aids in cleaning after firing the motor. Take the liner and the forward bulkhead and install the forward bulkhead into one side of the liner. Now insert the liner with the bulkhead assembly into the motor casing. until it reaches the other side, just below the threads. Take one of the greased o-rings and insert it in the cavity. Take your forward bulkhead and carefully thread it into the motor casing. it stops. Take your propellant grain that has the quick start painted on the inside and install that first. Then add the remaining propellant grains. Then take your nozzle and push it into the liner. Take the remaining o-ring, put it into the cavity, take your nozzle retainer and carefully thread that into the motor casing and tighten. It is okay to have a small gap between the casing and the nozzle retainer. That is of no consequence. And that completes the installation or assembly of the ASR 51mm reloadable rocket motor system. Right, 